Hey! All right. First question. Regardless of hunger level, whenever I've eaten these gummy bears today, my stomach started growling. Are they actually little bears eating the other things in my stomach? What does it mean? Whoa! <laughs> that looks so dumb. Let me tell you. Um, gummy bears uh, are a treat. Um, the thing is, I don't think you have little bears in your stomach that uh, are eating the things you eat. If anything, that would be a tapeworm. A tapeworm. But I have also heard of glue bears, which are also an adhesive and an animal, so I'm sure that they work the same way. So chances are, if you're eating and you just still seem to be hungry and you're just like losing a bunch of weight and feel like things are just eating your insides, it probably is glue bears. Um, next question. Uh, what is your favorite thing for a woman to do sexually and non-sexually? And if you can, the non-sexual sexual thing. Well, my favorite thing for a woman to do sexually, if we are being intimate and slamming our fists together like this, which is a joke I always do when I talk about sex, is just, Odin, you're beating me up right now. Uh, you just sit there, I'm quit it, quit it. <laughs> Why are you being a dick? Anyway, uh, I like a lot of noises. I like a lot of sounds. Uh, so just, and you know, of course, I mean like sexual noises. I mean, obviously I could do the joke of, oh, I just like it when she makes any noises. And so when we're sitting there fucking, she just starts going, oh, four score and seven years ago. Our great Abraham, leader of the free people. And you know, all that <laughs> stupid made up history. Um, uh, and for my favorite thing for a woman to do, non- Non-sexually, I guess, would just be to be happy, have a good time, don't be miserable. I mean, I, I don't think that's too much to ask for. And then my favorite non-sexual sexual thing, which I'm going to interpret as my favorite thing that a woman can do that isn't sexual in any way, but still gets me rock hard, pigtail. <laughs> I also, uh, I have this thing for, uh, overalls with nothing on under them. Dare you to overalls! Dare you Not the nod! Under them! Also, I really like knee-high socks. Knee-high socks! Knee-high! Uh. I also like breasts and butts and vaginas, which, you know, if they're not being used, are not necessarily sexual things. But I see them and make, and I think about it. <laughs> Next question. What is the correct size for a penis to be? Uh, they didn't specify for what exactly, so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, a penis, if you need it to be used for unlocking a door, needs to be very, very small and also in the shape of a key. Preferably not a penis, but if you must use one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say maybe two two inches, but really, really thin, uh, not a lot of width, uh, you know, you just, that would just wouldn't work good for a key, uh, if you were going to use it to put into a ragu, you're also not going to want a very big, for sex, I'm going to go ahead and say, for, I'm going to say not very big, because I'm not very big, and I don't want to make myself, uh, feel like an inadequate person. So fuck, dude, like three inches, that's perfect for sex, man. You know what? Go even smaller. That's 
that's the way to be. In fact, small penises are just always the best. Anything over about 3.8 is too big. And that's the truth. If you're a woman asking, that's the truth. You don't need anything bigger than that. Give me a call. Um, oh, also, why does sex? There are a lot of jokes I could do for this. Uh, sex does because. Uh, good for why. I'm glad he's finally getting some. Uh, um, hopefully correctly, for a lot of reasons, birthing a baby. Uh, well, I mean, sex isn't for birthing a baby. That's the birthing process. If you're having sex while someone's giving a baby, you are gonna be doing a weird thing to a kid.